In this video, I will show you how to create and serve your own torrents. You will need the files you want to share, a torrent client, in my case I'll be using Qubit Torrent, and a tracker address. I will first show you how to create torrents using public tracker, and then later I will show you how to use Qubit Torrent to create your own tracker. There are dozens of publicly available trackers that you can choose from. You can find them just by Googling. And you want to pick one that's based in your country. I'll pick this one here, the US. And you just want to copy that address. And pay attention to the port that it's using. In this case, we're using 6969. That's the port we're going to need to open up in our firewall and on our router if we're behind one. And from here, Open up Firewall with Advanced Security. You want to add a new rule. We'll go to Port. This URL is using UDP, so we'll choose that instead. And then we'll use 6969 as the port. We'll say Allow Connection. And I'll just call it Torrent. And then on our router, if we're behind one, we'll go to our Port Forward settings and add our device. I'll call the service torrent and then again set the port to 6969 as the external port. And for the internal IP address, we're going to choose our device. I'll choose my desktop here. If you need to know the device IP address, you can open the terminal and do IP config. And under IPv4 address, you can see your IP address for the device. That is what you put here. Once you have the external port and the internal IP address set, hit OK. I pick TCP. I'm going to make sure I choose UDP. And you're ready to go. Now we're ready to create our torrent. Back at our clients here, in my Qubit Torrent client, I will go to Tools, Torrent Creator. And I have a file here. So I'm going to be sharing this video. So we select our file here. We set the torrent format to hybrid. And we want to see it immediately. And then we copy that URL, that tracker address here, under tracker URLs. Then we hit create torrent. I'll save it in the same location. It's complete. And we're done. If we look at the tracker information here, notice how it says everything is working. So now we can go ahead and right click on our torrent. We can now share this torrent with other people or we can copy the magnet link. I'm going to copy this link, go on over to my laptop here where I have deluge and I'll say add torrent and then I'll just use the URL, paste it in, and hit add. And we see our torrent is now downloading. And if we look at the server, we can see activity happening. We can see our upload, and our upload speed, and obviously the download speed of our torrent. But now I'll show you how to create your own tracker. Qubit Torrent makes it easy to set up our own tracker and share files using our IP address, our device's IP address, or a domain name. First thing we're going to need to do is go over to Settings. And under Advanced, we want to make sure that we check Enable Embedded Tracker. And the default port is 9000, but you can change this to whatever you want. I'll keep it 9000. And I'll go ahead and recreate that torrent. And this time, instead of using this public tracker, I'm going to replace this with my IP address. And you can just Google your IP address to get your static IP address given to you by your ISP. So now we have our IP address followed by the port 9000 in an ounce. We'll go ahead and create that torrent and replace our old one. It's done. 
Now the next thing we need to do is change the port since we were using 6969. We're going to need to change that to 9000. So back at our firewall, we'll just update our current port to 9000. And in our firewall, we'll update this TCP 9000. And let me also change that to TCP in the firewall as well. TCP. And we're set. Before we share this, I want to change the upload speed. Second, we're going to change this to infinite. So that we don't have any download or upload limits. And then we'll go over to the laptop. We'll copy that magnet link. Hit add. And we will see. It starts to download.